Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuba, and I'm very excited about what I have here in front of me. This is a set of uh, four puzzle locks uh, called Trick Locks, designed by Louis Poulin from the Netherlands. Oh, wow. They must be very small. <laughs> they all come in this little uh, pot here. Let's have a look. There we go, yeah. So he uh, 3D prints these puzzles, um, and I guess he makes one a year, or he did for a while. Um, I understand that Louis started out as a puzzle collector and then got so interested in how puzzles work that he started uh, designing and making them himself. So anyway, there are four of them. Uh, you can find Louis's details online if you'd like to um, buy one or more of these yourself. Uh, and I'm going to start by having a look at the first one, the 2015 one. And uh, I'm also just going to point out that this is a really lovely little tin that the uh, puzzles come in. Tea time. Very sweet. All right, so let's have a look at this. This is the first of uh, Louis Coolin's Trick Lock puzzles from 2015. So it's 3D printed in plastic. Uh, it has uh, 2015 um, embossed there on the top. Uh, it has a shackle. It's very much like a padlock. There's something down here which looks like it might be a keyway, but uh, there's no uh, there's no key and it's blocked up. And then we have this kind of H-shaped uh, set of cuts in the front of the padlock. And other than that, no clues what to do to solve it. So let's have a look and see what I can do. So first of all, obviously just pulling on the shackle isn't going to do anything. Pushing on the shackle, there's no, I don't feel anything like a spring or anything like that. I'm assuming the whole thing is made of 3D printed plastic, so probably no uh, metal parts. I noticed earlier that when I pressed on this, it maybe sort of slightly move, but no, I don't think so. What about these? I feel like I want to press on them, but I don't want to break them. Now, this is interesting because this one doesn't give at all. That one is really stuck there. This one does move in. Uh, but I'm reluctant to press it too hard in case it snaps. And if I can push on this at the same time as pressing on that, maybe? No, nope. it's not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna see what happens if I shake it. Oh, oh wait. Okay, yeah, I felt something rattling, but it was just the shackle. <laughs> if I hold onto the shackle, I can't feel or hear anything in there, which makes me assume that spinning isn't gonna do any good. Gravity is unlikely to play a part. These are the standard sorts of things one tries first. So I think it's got to be something to do with pressing down on these, this panel here, and then something to do with this keyway, which is blocked up. I mean, I guess gravity could play a part here. If I can tip it downwards. Well, this is really intriguing. It seems extremely simple, uh, and yet I have very little in the way of ideas. Okay, so when I press down on this, it goes a certain distance, about the thickness of the plastic actually, and then it hits something, I think, so. I don't think it will break. I think it hits something and then stops. I was wondering if I can just sort of slide this out of the way by grabbing it with my fingernail, but no, it really doesn't move. That piece. Oh, I'm suddenly seeing that the plastic is slightly translucent and what I don't want to do is hold it up to the light and see through it uh, in case that's cheating. I might resort to that at the end if I get desperate, but for now that feels like cheating. Considering how small it is and that it's 3D printed plastic, it has a very solid feel to it. It's not at all heavy, it's very, very light, but 
it really doesn't feel like you know if, I, if you it doesn't um, shear you can't uh, twist it at all um, and uh, yeah it really does feel quite solid you can't compress it this way that's for sure and if you can compress the shackle You see, I think you can see there, yeah, there's the circle. And then there's a piece that comes down here from the circle. And I think it joins up here, probably. Right, and we can also see the shackle. You can see that it comes down here and then it's got a little bit of give there. You can see it moving, perhaps. Yeah, so you can really see, I think you can see this, can't you, where this shackle has a thinner piece that comes down here from the end of it. This shackle has a thinner piece that comes down from the end and then joins onto something that comes along this way. This one doesn't connect and that's why it's free to move. Hoping that isn't just something that's broken. <laughs> I don't think so. Now it's meant to be like that. And so... Right, the only way to get this to move upwards, if this is connected around this way, it won't move upwards if this pole can't go inside this circle. Which would mean the circle needs to be rotated if it's got a hole somewhere over here and you need to rotate it, then that would make sense, right? push down here, I can just see inside there and see the circular piece. We shouldn't try too hard, but... <laughs> Look at this. Now what? <laughs> well, that's exciting. So how did that happen? Was that being just held in place by this? Yeah, okay, so you just had to lift this up to get this to come out. Oh, okay, wow, that's very cool. Very clever. We can come out all the way and it doesn't turn. shackle still doesn't uh, lift up. I mean it looks like a it looks like a, a 
key, but you know, going the wrong way. But of course, if it were a key, it wouldn't have room to turn around inside this body. So it can't be that you take it out and then put it in the other way around, I don't think. Okay, yeah, so this is what was blocking this. Okay, so I'm noticing that there is this, um, I don't know if you can see this, if you look down in there, you see this as I pull up and down on the shackle, you can see this little piece that's trying to move and it's blocked. So I think what we have to do is push that way against that end bit of the shackle and then that will release the shackle. So I kind of want to get this in and then, you know, basically turn it around. Um, but it won't turn around, right? Because uh, the body of the lock is too small. I think even if, yeah, I think even if I tried to turn it this way, I think it would just break this off. I don't think you couldn't possibly get it that far around in there. Oh, and anyway, the base would not have any room to go. So, okay, so you definitely can't turn it around in there. I wonder if I have to push it in this way. Whoops, let me see. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm thinking I sort of press the end of the key against that little tab. Ooh, is that gonna do it? No. No, it doesn't quite feel like that's the right thing. I think it doesn't quite press it. Oh, now I'm noticing Something I hadn't thought of before is that this key has this little notch in here, uh, as if you want to grab onto something and pull down on it. So it's sort of like I want to get this in there the wrong way around, like this, and then I'll accept that it's actually that way. Oh. Oh, wait. Ah. Ah. Wait, this has got to be it, right? Oh, yes, yes. Hang on. I don't know, so that's freed it up on this side, but now that side is locked. So, do I just have to, what do I do with that then? Press on it. This, yes, ah, there we go, look at that. That is a brilliant puzzle, I love it. That is so cool, right, let's, okay, I'm just gonna put that back together and make sure I can Wait, was it that way around? Yeah, yes, yes, because that's the bit that, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh no, it does matter. Of course it matters. Right, so that goes that way around. That's now locked and then the key uh, went in like this. Uh, came out the end like that and then back up like that. Okay, so this is back to its original state. So to solve it, we first of all, step one is we lift up on that, shake that bit of the key out. Step two is we press down there, free the key completely. Step three is 
releasing that side of the shackle. And then step four is releasing the top of the shackle. So there we go. That is amazing. What a clever puzzle. So well designed. So fun. I, I just, I, I love it. I think that was absolutely brilliant. Louis Coolen, you are a genius. I'm even more excited now to see what the, uh, the other three puzzles have in store. Um, yeah, this is just great. So yeah, if you've, um, if you've watched this one and are interested in getting the other ones, then um, maybe figure out how to get in touch with Louis Coolen. You can find his details online. Um, and if not, or you want to see me solve the other three, then, uh, you know, subscribe and uh, I'll be solving them in the next few videos, or at least I'll be trying to. But for now, yeah, that was brilliant. What a great puzzle. I love it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.